Hi guys, um, in today's video I'm going to show you how to find an engine misfire. An engine misfire can be caused by several things. It can be as simple as a spark plug that has a broken electrode coated with oil if your engine is using oil or just flat out worn out with the electrodes too far from each other, the positive and the negative. It can also be a bad spark plug wire. For vehicles that still have distributors, it could be in the distributor cap, possibility, if it's corroded. Another option could be a clogged injector, or an injector not receiving signal from the computer if it has a bad circuit. For vehicles that have ignition coils on each cylinder, on you know one coil on top of each spark plug, it could be a bad ignition coil, or no different than the injector, an ignition coil that is not receiving the signal from the computer due to a bad circuit. And uh, this is the least desirable of all. The cause of an engine misfire can also be low compression or no compression on, on a particular cylinder. For an engine to run well, each cylinder needs to have at least 100 psi of compression. Anything less than that is going to give you problems. If your vehicle is fuel injected, like this truck right here, if your misfire is severe enough, it's going to be detected by your ECM. It's going to trigger a trouble code and your check engine light is going to come on. So at that point you just pull the codes and see what codes you have. For a misfire, it's going to start from P0301 to P0312 depending on how many cylinders your vehicle has. P0301 would be cylinder 1, P0302, cylinder 2 and so forth. I mean obviously P0312 if it was a 12 cylinder. You have to realize that a vehicle with multiple misfires is going to have a code P0300 which that code means multiple cylinder misfire. However, if your vehicle has a P0300 with no other codes like P0303, 304 or, or whatnot, just a P0300, that problem is going to be caused by something else. Uh, P0300 that is by itself is caused by a lean condition that can be caused by a weak fuel pump uh, 30 mass air flow sensor uh, which obviously is going to give you the incorrect fuel mixture oxygen sensors that are not working correctly same thing affecting the fuel mixture so a P0300 by itself it's not going to be uh, caused by one cylinder alone so we're just going to focus on misfire for this video we'll do a multiple misfire some other time and okay so if you're, if you're watching this video and your vehicle is not fuel injected, uh, this video will also apply to you. Because I'm going to show you how to find a misfire, uh, whether you have the code or not. Obviously with a code you have a starting point, right? If, you, if your code is a P0303, well you go directly to cylinder number 3. If you have a code P0305, then you go directly to cylinder number 5. So we're going to bypass that, okay? For this video, we're going to we're going to assume we have no codes that way if somebody is watching this video that has an older car that is still carbureted this video will be definitely useful and you'll be able to find your misfire with that said we're going to move on to finding the misfire for vehicles that still have a distributor you're going to need these they are spark plug wire pliers and they're insulated they allow you to pull the spark plugs one at a time without getting sapped. Uh, you can do it by hand, but it's not going to be a lot of fun. Either way, you can do it. Uh, or you can do it with some other plies. But these right here make your life a lot easier. We're going to start with the simplest of all. The vehicles that still have distributors. And you know, obviously all your spark plug wires are attached to your distributor cap. Listen all your spark plug wires first with the engine off. Now just pull them off and then just slightly you know set them on without snapping them all the way that's gonna make it easier when you have the vehicle running so you're not pulling so hard on it and then trying to find your misfire at the same time so do that with all of them so all of them are loose okay? they're, uh, they're just sitting on top of it enough to make good contact but still easy enough that you can just easily slide it out and put it back on with the pliers. To make this video more realistic, 
I'm gonna make sure this truck has a misfire. That way you can see the difference of how the engine runs with a misfire and without. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug the spark plug wire for cylinder number four, which is this one. That way you can get a, a good view when I'm unplugging it from the cap. So just disconnect it from the plug is what I'm gonna do. So this truck's gonna have a misfire. And I'm just gonna set it somewhere that it's not gonna catch anything on fire by sparking. So that cylinder right now is not gonna have spark. The spark plug is not gonna spark, which is gonna cause this engine to have a miss. Another easy way to find a misfire is through your exhaust. See how it sounds when I put my hand over it? You hear it? See that? That's because it has a misfire. The exhaust is supposed to come out smooth and it does, it's not supposed to make this sound right here. You hear it? I'm gonna go ahead and hook this buffer wire back on, you'll see the difference. If I put my hand on it now, see that? Smooth. There's no more anymore. It's coming out nice and even. Even if I put it super close, and that's how it's supposed to be. A nice smooth flow in your exhaust. So that's how you know you don't have any misfires of any kind. Nice and even. Smooth. Once you have located the cylinder that's giving you your problems, it's time to find out if that particular cylinder is getting spark. One of the easiest ways to do it is by using a spark tester, similar to this. You, what you do is you ground this end to a good ground on your engine, and you connect and you connect the spark plug wire to the other end, just like if this was a spark plug. Okay. So at that point, you start your engine, and you should see a spark jumping across these two prongs right here, and these numbers right here that's in thousands for instance this 20,000 volts 40,000 volts modern coils they should produce at least 40,000 volts not nothing less so you can always adjust this to make it wider to see how strong the spark is because maybe it's just a weak spark you never know so for instance right now I just adjusted this to 40,000 and if I have a, the engine running right now the spark should be able to jump all the way across and nice and blue. That means it has a very strong spark and the coil, the wire and cap rotor, all that stuff is good. If you don't have spark or it's very weak, then at that point you got to you have to troubleshoot your wire and then your distributor cap to see if it's corroded and it's just not sending a spark strong enough to the spark plug. So if all of this is fine, your wire, your cap and your rotor you have to remove the spark plug and inspect it. Make sure that it's not corroded, make sure the electrode is good uh, or it's not worn out. It should look normal. But if you were receiving good spark, then your next step is a bad spark plug or a foul spark plug. Okay, so let's continue with the troubleshooting. Let's say you're getting nice blue spark, the spark plug is good, and you still have a misfire. Next possibility 
is the injector. So first, before assuming that the injector is clogged, you need to find out if it's receiving the signal from the ECM. And that can be done with a noise light, like that. This noise light connects to the to the fuel injector connector. Okay, you would have to find the one that fits your vehicle because each connection is different. And then what you do, you disconnect it from the uh, cylinder that is giving you problems, you connect it to the noise light, and with the engine running, this light is going to flicker on and off really fast. The higher the RPM, the higher it's going to flicker on and off. That is if it's receiving the signal from the computer. If it's not uh, flickering on and off with the engine running, that means that the computer probably has a bad circuit and it's not sending signal to that cylinder or there could be a wire that is maybe corroded, uh, burned, you never know. So you would have to troubleshoot it and find out why. So that's the next step. Make sure that your fuel injector is receiving signal using an oil light. Okay, next step. So, so far let's say you have good sparks, spark plug is good, wires is good, fuel injector is receiving the signal from the computer. So let's move on to the next. There's one simple thing that you can do using the stethoscope that's made for vehicles. It looks almost similar to the stethoscope that the doctors use, but it's slightly different because this will allow you to hear the if the fuel injector is working, to hear if it's opening and closing. So you put your stethoscope on and you start your engine and you put the tip on the body of the fuel injector for the cylinder that's giving you the problems and you should hear it. You should hear it clicking as it's operating. If it's clicking, the uh, fuel injector is working, but you still have the possibility of the injector being clogged. So that's something to think about. But first thing is find out if it's even working, if it's clicking on and on, on and off. How you would know if it wasn't is to move to the next injector and try to hear that one. If that one is is clicking on and off and you can hear it and you move on to the one that's giving you a problem and you don't hear it then the injector is just flat out bad and that would be the end of your troubleshooting at that point. Another thing to consider if your vehicle has individual coils one of the things that you can do if you don't have a way to test these coils you can swap them. For instance if you have a cylinder number 4 that is misfiring and you verify that the coil is receiving the signal from the computer so now you want to find out if the coil is bad one of the easiest ways to do it is to remove that coil from that cylinder that's giving you problems and swap it with another cylinder what that would do if the coil was bad it would move the miss to the other cylinder now if the problem remain in the same cylinder even though you, even though you just swap the coils the coil was not your problem and you need to keep looking. Now remember, I did mention that the least desirable thing was a no compression and to check the compression you need a compression tester. You need to remove the spark plug from that particular cylinder. You thread this end. You find the one that fits your vehicle, you know, whether it's the longer one or the shorter one, you know, bigger round for different spark plugs. So you find the correct one, you thread this into the cavity where the spark plug was after you remove it. You know this will give it its seal, make sure it's in good condition and it's tight. So once that's connected, then you hook your gauge to it. And then your gauge is going to be reading in pounds. So remember what I said, you need at least a hundred for a vehicle to run properly. Anything less than a hundred is going to give you problems. So you would start your engine, you know, leave it at idle and see what the compression it has. Another way to do it is to disable your ignition and that way you only crank it, you know, you're only doing it with the starter instead of the engine running. So either way it will give you an idea where it is at and then you should have at least 100 PSI. So to do a small recap of, of the tools to have to make this troubleshooting a lot simpler, remember spark plug wire pliers, spark tester, Noid light or noid light set, compression tester, and the stethoscope. So those are 
you know, the tools that will make it easier for you to find your misfire. Once you have isolated and repaired your misfire problem, whether it was a spark plug, a spark plug wire, injector, whichever the case could have been, if your vehicle is feeling injected, make sure you clear the codes, take it for a test drive, and the check engine light shouldn't come on anymore. So as you can see, it really is a simple process. It's just a process of elimination to find out what is causing an engine to have a misfire. I hope you find this video useful and you subscribe to our channel because we upload videos every week. Also don't forget to visit our online store. We have a very wide selection of accessories for car trucks and SUVs. See you next time.